Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So as we head towards the end of June, we're always watching across the Gulf of Mexico down into the Caribbean, but you start to peek into those areas that we would watch in July, which is basically still across the Gulf of Mexico. You start to look more into the Atlantic and you really start to expand further into the central and the eastern Caribbean as well. We're warming these waters up. We're starting to see less and less wind shear. That's the idea behind this. But as we look at these areas right now, still very clear conditions across the Gulf of Mexico. And then most of the Caribbean is quiet as well. You also notice there's still a lot of strong wind shear where you're seeing that green shade. That is strong wind shear in that mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, and that extends over into the eastern Caribbean as well. The one area that we just continue to watch is just clusters of storms developing in the western Caribbean uh, down towards Nicaragua, over towards the Yucatan. But we've seen this for days upon days, no organization. We see a flare up of convection and then it just dies down and really computer models haven't been doing anything with this over the past several days as well, which makes sense because we just haven't seen much going on with it. And there's that stronger wind shear right on the edge of this. So just get that little narrow area that if it were to do anything, uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with. You, you look at the Fox model and there you see that big cluster of storms and watch as we go through the next couple of days. That moisture just continues to work its way across the Yucatan. No sign of any development. In fact, we have tropical depression Celia, which is in the Pacific. A lot of that moisture looks like just kind of gets pulled across Central America, and maybe over towards the Pacific. So no sign of anything developing in any of these areas across the Western Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico, which actually has a lot of dry air working its way through. And then you see very quiet conditions across the entire Caribbean as well. Of course, this all really kind of makes sense. As we go through the first part of the hurricane season, it's typically quiet. You look at the percentages as far as tropical activity beginning part of the season, six to eight percent through June and July. The real meat of the season, that is where you see September, about 34 percent of the all of the overall activity of the entire season. That's when it happens. So we'll continue to watch these areas and we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.